Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Welcome in, guys. Welcome to this session. Welcome back to the channel. If you are returning, hey guys, what is up? If you are new, hey, my name is Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. So, long time no see. It's been a while. Yes, yes, I know. Um, but I am being called this time to do some specific messages for the signs. So you have found yourself in the video for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Now, this message is being channeled, coming through, recorded, and published in the month of, Ju of June, ooh, June uh, 2024. There may be some significance for July for you water signs. We'll see, um, because I just wanted to say July. But this is coming through in June of 2014. Wow, 2024, now I was about to say 2014, okay, 2024. Um, and maybe something as significant is in, going on in July for you, or maybe you're watching this in July of 2024. The fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter when you watch this, this is a message for you whenever you find it, whenever it finds you. Hey, excuse me, sir, that is not a toy. Please excuse me, I have a kitten. Uh, 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 excuse me, I said that is not a toy. You, get out of there cat sorry um he's gonna be he seems to get ram wild and rambunctious when i once i start recording but anyway um so this is a message for whenever it resonates for you yes um please take what resonates and leave what doesn't so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this message for you now this could be i'm not even oh birdies Oh, the birdies! They, they're birds that just landed on my hammock, and I've never seen that before. That's really cool. Safe space, sanctuary. Um, someone feels safe around you, maybe, maybe. See, okay, look, here's the thing, water signs. I was... Excuse me, sir, that is not a toy. Get out. Get out from under there. You little monster. Go. <laughs> I love him, though. Hold on. Oh my goodness, there were so many distractions all at once, you guys. It was insane. Um, okay, let me start this over. Because getting into your energy, water signs, was palpable, was very distinct, okay? And I knew, I knew your, your reading was coming today. It was next on the roster. Um, and so the fact that I spent, I had some chores to do this morning. So I spent my morning doing that and then... Um, as I, yeah, there we go, that's better. As um, I went through my day, I started to uh, get into your energy and I felt it at one point because I remember distinctly saying, uh, knowing that I was feeling water sign energy, um, understanding that I was sinking into it and saying, wow, you guys have really distinct feelings. I mean, there were so many different feelings and they were all so incredibly strong and vivid. Now, I am no stranger to emotion. Um, I, I, I'm a fire sign, don't get me wrong, I am a fire sign. Um, and depending on what system that you look in, I do have uh, in the Vedic system, my moon is in Cancer. So I do kind of, depending on your perspective, I do have this watery aspect to me, 333 on the counter. So I do understand emotions very, very well. But the way that I was feeling my, the emotions that were coming through from the perspective of you guys, of the water signs, hey! He's going wild, um, was, was very, very distinct very distinct and, and and it was almost overwhelming um that's how strong it is but then at the same time i was like no this makes perfect sense obviously this is water sign energy and i was just in floating in the depths um i specifically remember wanting to smoke this morning which actually helped i don't know why i felt like I compelled to tell you that but that really helped um and so i was in the water i was meditating on your energy for a while and the and I, sorrow relationship sorrows are coming through for the water signs for this time period for whatever this message comes through now or whenever this message finds you whenever it resonates for you now disclaimer here i am not a love reader okay i obviously i will read if love comes through i don't go looking for relationship topics to read about and then you know do put those messages out whatever because we are both here if you're new here on Divine Conversations, we are all about shadow work. We are all about healing. We are all about ascension. We are all about doing the things that we need to do to become better versions of ourselves, more whole versions of ourselves, yes? 
and often that means not talking about love and relationships but when it's necessary it's necessary and in this situation the dominant feeling that i'm feeling for you water signs is love and relationship woes okay um now you could absolutely be in a partnership with someone in a situationship with someone um or you could be single and yet still this could be if you are single or you really don't have a partner or like you have some sort of situation ship but it's really not even all that serious the energies that i'm feeling are self are within are self-love energies now quite frankly it all boils down to self-love and self-respect and all that so even if you do have someone that you're connected to that you're currently going through this situation with it still could boil down or does really in essence boil down to a level of self-love and self-understanding and of healing of cycles and whatnot whatever yes five 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 on the counter all right guys here we go now the other thing that was come oh 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 so there's a song that i channeled once i have sunk into your energy well enough and i could really feel it the song that came through is uh, Far Side of the Moon by Tinashe. It is a wonderful full song. It's one of my absolute favorites. You really uh, might want to check it out. Um, that is the song that came through. Running from my heart <laughs> Hate to go so soon this has to be the end you won't see me again the far side of the moon there's one song uh, one lyric in the song that's it goes um i'm too old for all these games we're playing i'm just saying mm. it's a very good song it's actually i'm a huge tinashe fan but it that is one of my favorite songs of hers um and it's definitely a song that i play when i'm in my feelings <laughs> There was a time period not too long ago, right before I moved into the place that I am now, um, where that song was pivotal, was a pivotal um, energy uh, for me. I was going through a time period where I was literally cutting people out of my life and that, was, that song was very relevant. So I will see, we'll see. Oh, the other thing also, that was coming through for you water signs scorpio energy now scorpio was coming through very very strong maybe scorpio is going through a lot of this energy maybe you are i'm also picking cancer dominant um as well cancer is a close second and then pisces it's interesting because even with the fire signs aries and leo tend to ride together with me for me and then sagittarius stands on its own and the same for you guys for the water signs cancer and scorpio i guess i identify or connect with you guys the most lyle sorry i connect with you guys the easiest and then pisces you're on the out you're not on the outside but like you're used you seem to stand separate of the other two lyle not a toy no I'm trying to train him not to chew on my cords because there are a lot of them <laughs> um it's interesting that's just an interesting observation but anyway scorpio energy is coming through very strongly now it could very well be that all three of y'all, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, are going through some sort of Scorpionic transformative energy, death and rebirth type energy. That could be why Scorpio is coming through so strong. Maybe Scorpio has is, is seriously affected by this right now or is seriously going through this, or some of y'all are going through this with a Scorpio, okay? All right, guys, let's get into this. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna pick three cards for the water signs. One for each sign, Cancer, Scorpio, and then Pisces. We're going to interpret it a little bit and then check the timestamps in the description box and the pinned comment below for your reading for your sign. Yeah? Last shuffle here. All right. So, for Cancer, we have... Aha! Empathy and compassion. And I laugh like this because Sagittarius got this card. Okay. Scorpio, we have I am. Ooh, are you transforming, Scorpio? Wow. Wow. So, okay, so Scorpio, you really may be feeling this energy on a self-love level. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, Scorpio, you're going through a massive transformation. And maybe, and this is also why you're standing out so much because from what I'm feeling from this right now, this is so heavy 
I mean, it's good. It's not heavy in the sense that it's negative. It's actually really, really positive. It's just heavy in the fact that it's powerful. It's got some serious weight to it. It's got some serious depth to it. And what I'm seeing is in this I am energy, you really disconnecting from people you may have once identified with, even people that you love, okay? Ooh, and then for Pisces, we have see the light, be the light. Hmm. And it's funny too, Pisces, because this is also why I feel like you're kind of like standing on your own out here with this, with this see the light, be the light energy. You're kind of like standing, you're like the beacon of light, the beacon of hope. It's interesting. That's very interesting. I'm really excited to go into, to get into these actually. Um, Excuse, hey, I said no. I said no. You get out of there. You get out of the, get out, Lyle. Go. Hold on, guys. Hold on a second. Oh, boy. 11-11 on account of this cat, man. He's a kitten. He's only like about two months old. He's a, he's tur I believe he's turning three months this month because I think he was born in March. Um, and I can't tell if he's an Aries or a Pisces because I don't remember the exact day that he was born. We don't know, actually, the day that he was born because his mother was hidden. We just knew she was pregnant and then there they were. Um, but they were definitely born in March. I can't tell if he's an Aries or a Pisces. He might be a cusper. Now that's tr tropical traditional astrology. Anyway, let's get into this. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what, uh, what we've got going for you guys. So check the timestamps in the description box below. So you have Cancer, you have Empathy and Compassion. Scorpio, you have I Am. And Pisces, you have see the light, be the light. Okay, cool. I'll see you there. Hello, Cancer. Welcome in. Listen, Cancer, I'm, I'm like, I'm a little, I'm a little like, what's this here for a Cancer? Empathy and compassion. The first thing that I'm getting from this cancer is there's a hell of a lot of pettiness going on. And I feel like part of the message here is that some of you are needing to strengthen your capacity for empathy and compassion. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you might actually have Scorpio in your chart. Some of you are going through some sort of truly scorpionic energy right now. Uh, maybe the eighth house is being as aspected somehow for you. Um, or maybe wherever Scorpio is in your chart is being aspected here. But the baseline message that I'm getting from this cancer is that you are learning your 1313 on the counter. Ooh, death, Scorpio. You are going through a lesson of empathy and compassion. Okay, now for some of y'all, I am looking at you a little side-eyed because it's like, why don't you know this already? For others of you, it's not that you don't know it. And quite frankly, I'm gonna say for all of you, it's not that you don't know it. It's just that you are reaching deeper levels, deeper understandings of it. You are, um, at this time, you have a greater capacity for um, empathy and compassion. So, okay, so your depth, you're deepening your wells, your reservoir of empathy and compassion, however that looks for you, however that's being manifested for you okay see you see lyle you crazy critter <sighs> cats what's this the six of swords and this page of swords all right so some of you are dealing with a breakup <sighs> hold on good lord guys the amount of distractions today um some of you have kids and they're really distracting Others of you, uh, well, there is a message here, and I, 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 I hope I remember to say this to all three of the signs because it, I feel like I should have said it in the b very beginning, um, but some of you are distracting yourselves from the truth, um, or some of you are trying to distract yourselves. That's not so bad, I guess, because you do have this energy here. Um, I'm shuffling to get some more about this empathy and compassion, but you have the Six of Swords and the Page of Swords. 
Cancer, I really feel like there's someone trying to manipulate your energy. What I get here is this interesting situation in which you are trying to move forward, Cancer. Or maybe it's you who are trying to move forward from a Cancer. You could be cross-watching for a Cancer, if, especially if this resonates as a, a relationship thing. You could be a cross-watcher here. Um, someone is trying to get away consistently, I'm hearing, has been consistently trying to pull away from this circumstance, but then there's another person here in the Page of Swords who keeps watching them and intrinsically finding ways to bring them back, to rope them back in, to snake oil them back into the situation. <laughs> Yikes. I, I swear you... This motherfucker. <laughs> Anyway, um, empathy and compassion. Uh, okay, and see, this is Cancer. This is where the empathy and the compassion energy is coming into play. Seven of Pentacles now is showing itself because you're needing to have, in order for you to really move on from this situation, Cancer, and this is where some of your potentiality for clinginess or holding on to something can come in, is coming into play here. For you, and it's in a completely opposite direction than what you would automatically or normally think, but in order for you to really be able to get away, Lyle, that is not, oh my God, he's like finding all of the cables and all of the cords and chewing on them. Lyle, stop it. In order for you guys to really move on from this situation, you have to let go of your resentment and your anger. Hold on. Yes, you need to, you, you, you have got to let go of the negative emotions, feelings, thought patterns, belief systems. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. That you're holding on to in order for you to really be able to let this go. Because the only reason this person or this situation, even if it's not the same person, even if it's different people altogether, but the same situation over and over again, the reason why you are able to be roped back in or sucked back into this is because you are harboring a feeling or emotion that is in direct resonance with this situation so it makes you an energetic match and for some of you this is where the empathy and compassion also comes in for some of you you are doing something out of spite it's like it's it's as if this person or this other side of the equation may not necessarily recognize the cycle that they're in but you see it and because you're hurt or because you've been hurt by this person or because you've been hurt by a situation like this from the past and you're holding on to it still or you're harboring that still you are somebody here is consciously entering into this situation with intentions to hurt this other person or hurt this other part of the cycle that's cycling through this and doesn't necessarily know what's going on yet hasn't quite necessarily woken up to it yet it doesn't make them any less responsible but that is a perspective that needs to be held here because it's only until that person is aware of it is shown it is it, 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 it once that person is aware of it then if they continue p uh, perpetuating the cycle the karma is even worse but if you don't if you're not consciously aware of it if you can't see the problem then you can't fix it right I'm going to beat your ass. You. <laughs> God, I love him so much. All right, so you get it? You get it? Cancer. Spite and envy and spite and envy are not good are not good partners, are not good classmates, are not good friends. They are, they are not, they are not t the type of energies that you want to be teaming up with. I'm going to give this two more shuffles, Cancer. The devil and the six of swords. Look at this, Cancer. The devil and the six of swords now. I just heard this is, this is your toxic trait, or you could say this is my toxic trait. My toxic trait is getting, I'm hearing this specifically, is getting into a situation with someone knowing that they're going to hurt me, but I'm just going to hurt them back in turn anyway. That's actually my intention. That's my toxic trait. Getting yourself specifically wrapped up with individuals that you know are shady, are shysty, are... Uh, whether they're conscious of it or not, you know. You know. You know. 
you got to let this toxic cycle go. For some of you, this is you actually getting revenge on the, the person who did this to you initially or the situation or circumstance that did this to you initially. You got to get away from that. And this is where the lesson of em empathy and compassion comes in because cancer, it, it's, really this, it's really this simple. It boils down to just this, hurt people, hurt people, 22, 22 on the counter. And I guess you're an example of that right now, aren't you? The difference here though is whomever I'm talking to or whomever energy, whosoever energy I'm picking up on right now, you're doing it intentionally, fully consciously aware of what it is you're doing and how it is hurting people. And actually, quite frankly, how it is you are perpetuating this cycle over and over and over again, not only for other people, but absolutely for yourself. Empathy and compassion for cancer, please. Eight of swords. But this is a willful state of ignorance, of binding. This is willful. This is willful, cancer. I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. This is willful. You are actively keeping yourself in this eight of swords, this bound I'm hearing woe is me energy, 2121 on the counter. You are saying to yourself, well, I have no choice. Forgiveness or compassion is not an option here when it absolutely is and always is an option. You just have to be willing to choose it. You just have to be strong enough to choose it. Get, I swear. Mm -mm -mm. I might have to lock you out of here, Lyle. There it is right there, Cancer. Scorpio, death. This is an ego death, 100%. Now, I am, I am not trying to trivialize, trivialize or discredit what you've been through because from what I can feel down here, man, that's some fucked up shit, I get it. You have every right to be hurt to be upset, to be angry. 22, 22 on the counter. But that does not justify hurting, maiming, harming. These are all things I'm hearing. Other people perpetuating this cycle. It does not justify even, okay, take other people out of it. It does not justify perpetuating this situation for yourself, sis, bro. Like, why do you deserve to have to go through this over and over and over and over again? And I, some of you are saying it's because it's bringing me pleasure because I'm causing pain in the type of people that did this to me to begin with. That is toxic. That is uh, like an addiction. That is akin to an addiction. You're getting a temporary high off of that while the consequences, the after effects, not only for you, but for, not only for others, but for your own self, like say somebody, because I'm the first thing I'm thinking of is heroin. And I, I'm not trying to trivialize that either or diminish that either, but like people, you do this, you get this amazing euphoric high at the first time it's the best. And then after that, each time after that, you're trying to chase after that first initial high and the more you do it the less high you get lyle and the less high you get but the continued amount even more stacked on damage it does to your body over time to a point where it just completely destroys the body well this is kind of a similar energy in terms of how it's actually affecting you. Ace. The Ace of Swords, that's the truth right there. Seven of Wands. You've just got to put up the boundaries. You've just got to say no. You've just got to stop by cycle. You've just got to stop cycling back into that energy. 
Is that easier said than done? Yes, absolutely. Let's go back to our addiction uh, uh, example. Especially heroin. Going cold turkey? Okay. We understand how difficult that is, if it's even possible. Okay. So, we understand that it's not going to be easy. It has not been easy. The pull to, bring, to, 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 to continue to perpetuate this cycle has been extremely strong. I get it. And there may have been moments where you thought you were making progress and you weren't doing it. And then all of a sudden something triggers you and you slip right back into it before you know it. Right? I get it. But you are stronger than this. And you're stronger now because you are fully aware of how to cut yourself free because you are aware of what it is. For some of you, you were kind of on autopilot not really fully understanding why you kept doing these same things, why you kept acting in these same ways. It's a trauma response. Move it, get out, get out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just a little more for cancer. Anything else for cancer, please? The magician. You have the power, cancer. There you go. You are the master manifest. You can do this. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at it, cancer. We're back at the six of swords. At the bottom of the deck. Look at that. You have the power. The magician to the six of swords, you absolutely can. And will do it if you just... Hold tight. Call on the strength of your ancestors, your angels, God, source, creator, whomever it is you pray to, pray for, pray, what, whatever. Ask for help, both spiritually and physically. Maybe go to therapy. Maybe ask a friend, uh, family members. Uh, who, uh, keep, hold, uh, what we were asking for is for them to help keep you, uh, hold you accountable. That's most important, okay? Some of you may actively go through some sort of actual drug addiction. And there may be a Scorpio involved with it. Maybe you have Scorpio energy or maybe you're doing these drugs with a Scorpio. It's the Scorpio that got you into it to begin with. Yeah, I'm hearing, yeah, they're the scum of the earth. Empathy and compassion, Cancer. Or, yeah, empathy and compassion. There you go. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have enjoyed this reading, if you got something out of it, oh gosh, please uh, go ahead and tap that like button for me and consider subscribing. Yeah? I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Okay. Bye. <laughs> hey, Scorpio. All right, so y'all got I am. And as I was clearing the deck before, after um, doing Cancer and now looking into your energy, I was channeling your energy here and the Queen of Pentacles came out. Some of you are going through some sort of severe or extreme identity crisis. Some of you are mothers. Um, some of you are dealing with your mother. Some of you are healing a mother wound. Um, you are separate. Okay, so, and this is why I definitely picked up on family here for someone. Um, because you are, it's as if, not as if, it is that you are separating yourself from these individuals. From someone, or whatever from an institutionalized energy or way of thinking, from a communal way of thinking, from a familial way of thinking, but you are stepping into your own. 
basically is what this is talking about with the queen of pentacles here male or female it doesn't matter although i do feel like i'm mostly reading for women right now in this situation but take it as it resonates maybe you just identify more with feminine energy maybe you are in a time period even if you are physically male in which you are coming into your own on in terms of your own personal femininity because everybody has masculine and feminine energy whether you're man or woman it doesn't matter all right Yes, the big tagline here for you, Scorpio, is that you are coming into your own. You are coming into your own, Scorpio. And this could absolutely have to do with financial wealth and health and well-being. Some of you are getting into an entrepreneurship energy. Some of you are looking to start a business. Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Oh, boy. There's a lot of truth coming through for you right now. There's also a lot of truth coming through you right now. I feel like somebody here has a whole lot of shit to say. And you might be holding your tongue. Uh, for good reason, I would imagine. Um, uh, for some of you, the process that I am is is that is of you speaking truth to who you are and for some of you the problem is the fact that you are not speaking up that you have been holding your tongue and in that i heard the next phrase i heard was for necessity but then it was covered over by it is not necessary it is unnecessary for you to be holding your tongue at this time scorpio so you're speaking truth. Your voice is coming online. Um, and this definitely could be uh, separating yourself from your mother or a mother energy or some sort of, yeah, look at that, Scorpio. Oh, honey, it's that eight of wands in reverse. So there is a mother wound here. Um, maybe you watched your mother be very timid um you and she may have been a very strong woman but circumstances kept her in her place so quote unquote so to speak she was not to speak out of turn this is giving this is giving uh, uh back in like when my parents were kids when they were growing up the thought was children are to be seen and not heard that might be re re resonant for you that might resonate for you in this in terms of this the eight of wands is about communication clear and open communication it's also about travel and movement but it can also be about communication and the eight of wands in reverse is absolutely speaking to the fact that someone has not been able has not been able to communicate so regardless as to however this may look specifically for you this core wound is that of one of is that of not being able to communicate not having effective communica communication skills and more specifically communication sc skills that will effectively get you what it is that you need to feel and or be nurtured. 333 three, three on the counter. Scorpio, anything else for Scorpio here? Woo! All right, we're paper chasing. Uh, we've got the Nine of Cups now, Scorpio. And so, and that fell out on the floor. Woo! here we go again there's death again now death came out for cancer but now it's also coming out for you scorpio because this is you this is actually your card okay at the bottom of the deck overall energy big old transformation no wonder scorpio energy was coming through so strongly because uh da, 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 damn. you might want to you might want to watch the cancer reading you might actually i did pick up for somebody here um that while i was doing the cancer reading that maybe someone has a scorpio placement so maybe you're you have a cancer placement Okay, but somebody's, oh, damn. Yeah, you really might want to watch the, the, the cancer and the cancer reading because the magician is also showing up for you. That showed up for cancer as well. But also the magician would, would represent Scorpio because the magician is um, uh, uh, resonant with Mars. And Mars is one of the, ori is the original ruling planet for Scorpio. Now it's Pluto, but Scorpio was originally ruled by Mars. The magician also represents Aries and Scorpio energy. Um, but you have death, the chariot, and also the magician here. And what I was saying is that with this nine of cups that was thrown off on the floor, it's like your hopes and dreams have always been diminished or have always been pushed aside. 
because of your inability to communicate effectively in what it is you need to be and feel nurtured. And this absolutely stems from a mother wound and this is absolutely generational. So you may be that individual in your family that is finally choosing to heal this wound and to step into your own and step into your power and allow your voice to be heard. Three, four, five, six on the counter. Now, overall energy at the bottom of the deck to describe this to you, but to show you what it means, you have death, which is you, Scorpio, but is also the transformation that you're going through to the chariot that's putting you in an energy of being in the driver's seat of your life because not being able to communicate your needs effectively allowed others to drive your life for you. Even if, even though you may be a badass bitch or a badass homie, and you know you're you're a boss and you do for yourself blah 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 but when it comes down to what it really is that you need to be nurtured loved and cared for that is completely it's delegated to someone else you might be a very <clears throat> you might be a type of individual actually because i'm getting strong business references now you might be the type of person or the type of mindset you have developed as one that is very transactional very business-like and is very much lacking in love and empathy 555 five, five on the counter because of your inability to feel nurtured to be nurtured to get what it is you need to be nurtured you see what i'm saying then to that so the chariot would represent okay so death to the chariot excuse me represents going through the transformation to put you in the driver's seat to drive your life as it, you needed, as you need it, to then the magician having full power. Full autonomy, control of all your resources, both physically and energetically. Master manifester, if you will. Underneath, then to go a little further, because you, you have a ton of major arcana coming out right now. Underneath the magician then is the lovers to the ace of swords yeah you, some of you might have a cancer placement some of you um this might be a fourth house issue for you the fourth house may be really being um aspected for you right now because of the mother energy that's coming through the fourth house does represent you could be dealing with a situation oh shit uh, i just realized it stopped the recording okay sorry guys um uh, that sucks anyway uh This might be a really extreme situation for you, but an emergency alert just came through and it stopped the recording. It started a new one. Um, so this might be a really severe situation for someone. And a lot of distractions have been coming through. Um, so this mother figure might be very distracting for you maybe trying to distract you from the truth of the situation so that you don't sever ties or you don't um step into your own empowerment i told you no you crazy cat sorry kitten um but you might have a cancer placement uh, you might, cancer might be heavily aspected in your chart, wherever it is in your chart, or the fourth house may be very as as strongly aspected right now, because um, all of these are Cancerian it's, uh, energies, especially the energy of nurturance. Even though we have the Queen of Pentacles here, technically that would be the Queen. That would be like an Earth sign, but but I'm getting nurturance through the Queen of Pentacles, and that is a very motherly aspect. Okay. Shit, your mother might be a cancer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, but see, so death to, to the chariot, to the magician, to the lovers, the lovers would represent a choice of free will, yes, but also a choice of vice over virtue. Vice would be staying in a situation in which you are not being heard or virtue doing what's right for you so that you can be heard and thus subsequently get the nurturance that you need and desire ace of swords is the truth the wisdom the knowledge the understanding i thought i almost spilled my water the ace of swords is saying to me this is a confirmation of yes you know exactly what it is you need to do here also the ace of swords would be speaking truth communicating truth okay 
And then, of course, underneath the Ace of Swords is the Three of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. I mean, I could go, yeah, I could go on, but we're not gonna, because that's your message right there, okay? <sighs> so there you go, Scorpio. I love you so much. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you got something out of this of benefit, please go ahead and tap that like button for me. And also, please consider subscribing. Yeah? With that said, I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for your next reading uh, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Mwah! Bye. <laughs> Hello, Pisces. All right. So, Pisces. See the light, be the light. And I was clearing the deck, channeling your energy, getting into this, and the Four of Wands came out. Um, okay, first thing I want to say for all the water signs, distractions are very high right now. And Pisces, of all the water signs, you are the most stable right now, which is wild, right? That's awesome. Good for you. But you're standing in a very wise space right now. Pisces, you are, you see the light, okay? You have the understanding. Some of you are playing guru, life coach to friends. Some of you are actual, you know, readers, life coaches, whatnot, whatever. Um, you have the ability to see the light and then you also have the ability and actually you're being asked to, to be that light that you see. Be the, be the beacon for others, okay? Um, this could be a generational thing because I'm kind of resonating with this a little bit. Um, and I have North Node in Pisces. So you might have North Node in Pisces. You might be a Pisces. You may also still have North Node in Pisces. But it's the wisdom, it's the depth of understanding that Pisces represents that's really shining forward for you right now, okay? And you're being asked to stand in that light and be that light, that beacon for others. Let me give it this way. Oh, it is so hot. All right, Pisces, let's see what else we've got for you. No. Go chew on something else, Lyle. Goodness gracious, this cat. Just a big old troublemaker. The chariot. You're doing it. And I'm hearing by any means necessary, by all means necessary, I don't get that in a negative five of swords way. I get that through in terms of like, you're doing what you, it is you know you need to do in order to accomplish whatever it is you're after, in order for you to follow your life path. This is very much, so okay, somebody here is also being called to step into their guru, light worker, light warrior energy. Step into your path. Start honoring your path. What's going on with Pisces here? Ooh, the tower. Ooh, 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 the tower. Scorpio energy. So Scorpio is coming through all three signs, okay. But I don't feel like this tower energy is happening for you. I feel like this is, you are the light. You are basically, because after the, the tower comes the star, you are that star, that light shining for those around you who are going through some sort of tower moment. I'm hearing crisis management. Some of you are being called towards the realm of social work in some way, in the realm of crisis management in some way. Some of you are that crisis manager for others, people around you, family, friends, colleagues, people that are very close to you. Even though you're a water sign, you are st symbolizing that rock of wisdom for others to get them through some sort of dark night of the soul type energy even. What's going on for Pisces? Okay, this and then that, yep. Wow, you have, next you have the devil and then you have the world. Okay, so this is confirmation. Um, some of, someone actually may also be an addiction counselor or maybe wanting to get into that, being called into that field. Overall energy is the Knight of Cups. 
compassion, understanding, healing, therapy. Whether mental, emotional, or physical. But you are that four of wands, that solid foundation to help others in need who are going through some sort of crisis and who are in the process of ending some sort of addictive ties, karmic ties, toxic relationships, toxic circumstances. The devil absolutely could represent addiction. So Pisces, you could be an individual that suffered from addiction in the past and now you're being called to be a counselor, to be a way shower, to get help others get out of that addiction. That's really beautiful, Pisces. And quite frankly, I don't really have anything else to say about it. That's really it. It's really that simple. <laughs> I'm sorry this is uh, like so short for you. Maybe we could pull a little bit more and see if I can get you some more guidance, but that's really what I see right now. That's the long and the short of it. <laughs> um, let's see. Anything else for Pisces? Any advice at this point? The Wheel of Fortune. Look at all this major arcana, Pisces. There's also an energy here of paying it back or paying it forward. Who did that come out for? Sagittarius. That is very interesting because I, when I did the Sagittarius reading yesterday, it was Leo and Aries. They were in their own little bubble and then Sagittarius was kind of standing on the, on the outside or just a bit separate from them. And they were in a position to be called to pay it forward in a very similar way that you are. So maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. Maybe the ninth house is being aspected for you, which would make absolute sense if you're being called or you're feeling called to be stepping into some sort of guru or light worker energy. That is the ninth house. Okay. Um, Sagittarius may also be somewhere in your chart that is being aspected. I just heard the guru energy is strong here. And what I'm getting with the Wheel of Fortune for you, Pisces, is an energy of paying it forward or paying it back. So the more that you work to take your previous experiences and how you've overcame them, i.e. specifically addiction, drug addiction, I'm getting, um, but it could really be anything. Um, the more that you pay that forward, the more that you will receive in turn. You will, for many of you, if not some of you, you are about to see your luck your finances be completely changed, go through a complete 180. And the Wheel of Fortune does represent Jupiter, which would be representative of Sagittarius. Or rep the, the Wheel of Fortune could be associated with the luck and the abundance of Jupiter. Even though, you know, the Wheel of Fortune here has all the fixed signs on it. So that would be Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Leo, and... Scorpio. But I'm getting a very Jupiter, Jupiter type energy, an energy of expansion, benevolence, luck, wealth, abundance. But that comes from being of service, paying it forward, paying it back even, 1111 on the counter. Anything else for Pisces? Nine of Pentacles. Let's get one. And... Oh, 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 the King of Swords. Woo! And then the Two of Cups. Relationship counselor. You may, be a, may end up being a relationship counselor. You may end up helping people get out of toxic, codependent, specifically codependent relationships, especially with this devil here. Not only with the devil here, but now also with the Nine of Pentacles here, because the Nine of Pentacles is all about independence and sovereignty. Standing on your own two feet, being an independent person. King of Swords is basically saying, girl, bro, you don't need them. You don't need that. You don't need that substance. You don't need that toxic circumstance. You don't need that toxic girlfriend or toxic boyfriend, toxic spouse. You don't need that shit. You don't need that person. You can stand on your own two feet. And it's about helping them see that. 
because it would be different if it were the Queen of Swords. If the Queen of Swords, it's like, look, this ain't even a discussion, okay? It is what it is. I am who I am. Get the fuck out of my way. The, que the King of Swords, however, is the one that will sit there and debate with you and say, but what about this? What about this? Ask all the questions. Look for all the evidence. Have the debate. Have the conversation with you. Work to prove the truth to you. But Pisces, I see that you are the person standing in that position to have that communication about independence and sovereignty. Okay. So you, very similarly to Cancer, are being, no, it's not Cancer, it's, excuse me, it's Scorpio. Very, and no wonder Scorpio energy is coming through so strongly, but you, like Scorpio, are being asked to step into your own, but in a bit of a different way. Because in this case, you, Pisces, are being asked or guided to step into a leader's role. Whereas Scorpio was more, looking, was more being challenged and guided to step into themselves and allow their voices to be heard. Step into their own in that sense. You are being asked to step into your own energy in terms of your life path. Leadership aspects. Sorry, that was the cat. Okay. Very beautiful. So actually, this also could be very much a North Node in Pisces type of energy as well. Okay. And that can, that can happen in any way, you, any way, shape, or form that you want. If you are an energy reader, if you are a spiritualist, if you are a psychologist, if you are, if you are someone that's into physical therapy, psychiatrist, psychologist, even just a doctor, a like, like, a, like a medical doctor, you know? But I am hearing therapeutic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what I've got for you, Pisces. <laughs> I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Yes, if you enjoyed this and it gave you enlightenment or it gave you insight and got you what you needed, please consider tapping the like button and also consider subscribing. Yeah. I love you guys. I hope you all have a fantastic day and a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes. Excellent. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>